Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to participate in this global town hall conversation regarding social justice and governance. Antigua and Barbuda is a small Caribbean island nation famed for its beautiful beaches, vibrant and friendly people. Our visitors think our island is a paradise on earth, and I am confident it is. Unfortunately, our island nation has become one of the most climate vulnerable countries in the world because of the existential global climate crisis. However, we are not alone. Islands across the world are on the front lines of this climate crisis, suffering significantly from its effects. These island nations, which are geographically isolated, rank among the most economically vulnerable to global supply chain disruptions, stemming from events as wide ranging as wars to pandemics. Whereas our island nations are some of the most vulnerable countries globally, we are not the poorest. Unfortunately, this relative success that we enjoy has been achieved with the accumulation of debt from repeated borrowings to rebuild from climate crises and to adapt and mitigate against the effects of climate change. This vicious debt burden is further compounded by a harsh and unfair financial system that is unresponsive to the needs of small, vulnerable island states. We need urgent change in the international financial architecture. We need a more responsive international financial architecture that goes beyond income as the only measure of inequality. We need the United Nations to adopt the multidimensional vulnerability index to give small island states the necessary breathing room for them to build a more resilient future for their peoples, including through debt relief and better access to sustainable financial pathways. Small island states need economic justice that will allow them to build their resilience against climate change and their developmental challenges. In Antigua and Barbuda next year at the SIDS4 conference, small island states from all geographic regions will present a rescue plan to emerge from this desperate trajectory of hopelessness, creating a pathway towards resilience and certainly prosperity. However, they cannot enact this plan by themselves. They need the rest of the world to do its part. Join us. Save our islands. Save the world. I thank you.